Shalom, my students, friends, and Torah family. Now, this is just a short message, and this is not a, a slur against anybody. This is just to prove to you a simple point that our Torah makes, and it is regarding slander, regarding tailbearing, regarding making stories of other people, whether they may be true or false. Our Torah tells us that we're not permitted to do that. But yet, in our world today, when we pick up the tabloids, we look at the media and we find all sorts of stories against other individuals. You know, individuals, corporations, even the president and other people and so on and so forth. Whether they're true or false, you know, people continue to do so. Now, the case I wanted to make in point was this. Uh, Jay Leno, as you know, he's a comedian. I guess he hosts uh, some show in America. Now, Jay Leno was recently, perhaps accidentally, you know, he got some skin burns working on his vehicle. And I wanted to make a case in point. And see, people laugh at us and people say, oh, you're Talmud this and you're Talmud that and it's so old and, and how can you say that it is true and things like that. Even in fact, I had a conversation with a friend the other day regarding the Talmud, the Babylonian Talmud. And they were like, well, you know, the Babylonian Talmud is so old and it was passed down to your people and how can you apply the things in the Talmud today? And I said to them that it doesn't matter if the Talmud is, uh, let's say, 1500 years old, actually, uh, the Talmud is from 500 BCE, okay? So, I guess it makes it a little over 1500 years. It's more than 1500 years old. But just to say so, just to say that, that, well, let's say 2500 years old. So, the question is, is not how old is the Talmud, the question is this, that the teachings in the Talmud that came down through different rabbis, different teachers in Babylon, in Iraq, Iran, Persian Empire, Babylonian Empire, my proposition was simply this, that it illustrates certain points regarding the Torah verses, and it gives various opinions. It doesn't enforce any laws. It doesn't say you have to do it this way. You know, different rabbis, different teachers, they give different opinions on the matter. Now, the Torah says that you are not to slander, you are not to tailbear. To me, telling jokes, making fun of people, and, you know, it might sound, it's a, it's a good thing. Actually, it's not a good thing, because you look at Jay Leno, okay? Now, like I said, I've got nothing against Jay Leno, the person. But I just want to talk to you about what happened to him was he got skin burns. And we are told that people, when they do things against other people, whether for good or whether for bad, okay, it's not, it's not necessarily one or the other, it could be either. We are noted that the punishment for that, now this is natural, this is from God, this is not something that some rabbi, you know, came up with that, you know, he decided that this would be the punishment. According to God's standard, the punishment on that individual, doesn't matter who he is, whether it's Jay Leno or somebody else, the punishment for that, according to the, the sages that we have, and the Torah is, is skin, flesh, something to do with the flesh. Maybe it could be boils on the flesh, maybe it could be some itching disease, maybe some other illness, uh, but in this case, it's a skin burning, okay, for an individual. Now, I know that Jay Leno is, I guess, you know, for most of you, it's like his occupation. Oh, he's a comedian. Yeah, but while he's a comedian, what does he do? He throws jokes at other people, right? Isn't that what comedians do? They throw jokes at other people. And when they throw jokes at other people, they make fun of other people. Making fun of other people might be funny for a moment, but actually, the Torah law does not change. Law is law. Now, like I said, I've got nothing, nothing against Jay Leno. Okay, let's put Jay Leno to one side. Let's look at another individual. And let's look at his antics. The other individual I want to speak about is the, is the Prime Minister or stroke President 
of Ukraine. So this is this is the the guy that you, you hear about, uh, Zelensky. Now Zelensky, remember, he was also a comedian at one time. He was also throwing jokes at people and making fun of people. And then he came up in the political circles and he became a stroke prime minister president of of that country. So you may not think so. You may think, oh, well, by the by, nothing. No, but it is. It is something. A judgment against an individual is held. So you might say, well, how was Zelensky affected? And we don't know the time of the, you know, how many years it took for that judgment to come through. But because of Zelensky, how many people got burnt? Think about what I just said. How many people got missiles fired on them? Cities destroyed. You know, nuclear power plant and other things and death, killings, injuries. Could I, could I pose it that that has something to do with Zelensky's making fun of other people? Or maybe something else? Just asking a question. Think about it. So next time you deride the Torah and you say, oh, well, it's just an old book. And oh, yeah, the Talmud is just... 2500 years old, it's just legends, it's just stories, you know, this, that and the other. Next time you say that, think very carefully. Because yes, the Talmud is very old, 2500 years, roughly. And yes, the Talmud has a lot of ancient stories, and it takes up a verse from the Torah, and then a lot of rabbis, you know, they kind of give their opinions on it. Yeah, sure. For some of you, it might be, oh, well, it's just old stories. But to me... You know, I have the I have the Talmud, the Babylonian Talmud. I've read it thoroughly. So to me, right, even those old stories have a lot of truth and information in there that helps us to understand how the people lived in ancient times in in countries outside of Israel, how they behaved and how they took things seriously of the Torah that were written even before the Talmud. So I would encourage you. To think about Torah, law, as law. Not just as some, oh, a bygone era and it was just there at one time and no longer is valid. It is a 100% valid today in our world. So let's be very serious about it. Let's take the, the writings of Moses seriously for a change. And let's put it to the serious effect for our benefit and our blessings. And when we take it seriously for our benefit and blessings, then we will get benefit and blessings. We won't use information for wrong purposes. We'll use it for good purposes. We won't use it to uh, criti crit critique our leaders, you know, curse them down. We'll use it to pray for our leaders, you know, ask for them to have wisdom, ask for them to make right decisions. That's where we should be. And coming to that, a testimony for you. Uh, I believe it was yesterday. Uh, one of my students I was having a, a chat with, and uh, I guess she was having some problems with a company that will remain nameless for, for now. And that company had done something that she wasn't happy about. So she asked me that how she can go about you know, rectifying the situation and putting it before God for justice to be done. So I explained to her what needs to happen. And you know, she went about her business. I said, I will petition for you as well that this matter will be resolved. I can tell you within six within six hours, she sent me a little a note this morning, my time, and she sent me the the letter that the company sent her in, in return because the company were charging her some monies that she, they shouldn't have been charging her, and they were taking her to the what you call it the their you know department that does the collections. So within six hours, that matter was resolved after prayer. Okay, so Baruch Hashem. Give thanks that God resolved the matter very, very quickly, very, very fast. I'm very thankful that because of our trust in the Torah, the matter was resolved. So I give thanks to God and I give glory to Him for an honor to Him for, you know, still being there for us and looking down upon us with mercy and loving kindness. With that, have a wonderful day. Shalom, shalom.